dirty, scared of my own ceiling Scared I'll die of uncertainty Fear might be the death of me Fear leads to anxiety Don't know what's inside of me Don't forget about me This video is exclusively about the 89s at this IWF World Cup, the last chance qualifier. Because, as you all know, it's the reason 99% of you are probably here. It's just the most insane category right now. And the athletes are all here, all the ones that we're particularly excited about. And I want to go through what we've seen of them because they look um, record breaking, if you will. So, as some of you might have seen on social media, Carlos Asai just did the most historic thing I think I've ever seen in a training hall. Uh, he hit that mythical two, uh, 400 kilo total that we thought he was going to go for at the European champs and um, and he did it by messing around so more on that later we'll, we'll get to him but we'll kick off with uh, let's kick off with his rival his nemesis uh, Antonino Pizzolato the only man to have really beaten him uh, as a senior athlete he's actually in pretty good shape we saw him snatch 160 a while ago for basically a double but then a few days later 170 kilos in the snatch which is massive I mean that's normally the weight that he opens at because he kind of refuses to open any lighter than that whether or not he makes a second attempt, I don't know. I hope he does. I hope he can push into those mid 70s. But you know, the fact that we know he can clean over 220, that's where he gets particularly dangerous. He can jerk 217 after a clean. He obviously had that world record a while ago. Um, has he clean and jerk? 200. Yeah, he did a 200 kilo clean and jerk. I missed that unfortunately, but 170, 200, pretty solid training stuff from him. Uh, the two Chinese athletes, let's talk about Tian Heart Attack Tao, and he gave us a few more heart attacks in the training hall. Uh, he built up in the clean and jerk, uh, 180, 190, 200, the clean looks super easy, misses the jerk, loads 210, clean looks super easy, misses the jerk, goes again, misses the jerk, so that guy is just like, you know, he, he saves it until the day, I think, and sometimes he does and sometimes he doesn't pull it out of the bag, I mean, don't forget, the Olympics, 2016, miss, miss, make, miss, miss, bump 10 kilos, make. So like the guy can pull it out of the bag when he needs to. His teammate, Lee Dayin, we've seen him snatch up to 160 kilos, look very strong. I mean, he's never not gonna look great in the snatch. Whether or not he goes for a world record, 181, I don't know. Uh, and then we've seen him 170 power clean jerks, nothing heavy in the cleaner jerk yet. Though if he does do that later today, I'll put it in the vlog now so you can see it. So I promised that we would have uh, a little update if anyone did anything else, and we did. Uh, we saw more from the 89s. So Tian Tao turned up and redeemed himself entirely from everything I basically just said. He clean and jerked up to 210. First time, it looked really smooth. The jerk looked very easy. Uh, and then he snatched 170 kilos as well. So that's really solid. Lee Dai-in <laughs> turned up as well, clean and jerked 200 kilos, so that was his heavy like clean and jerk session. Um, and then, should we let all of them go yeah. past? And then, you guys go. <laughs> uh, and then Nino, who just walked past, um, he did a 170 snatch again, and uh, just 190 on the clean and jerk. But again, I mean, to make 170 a few times, like twice this week, is very solid so the 89s is definitely like peaking up again and to be honest having now seen tian do the 170 210 obviously it's not 180 220 like carlos did but it's still you know that's a big total right there um so yeah i think things are going to kick off for this session the person who i am convinced is going to set a world record in the snatch and going to win the snatch by i think uh, a margin is jason lopez i genuinely think jason lopez is going to take 181 on I, I genuinely be surprised if he takes it on his second attempt. I know that sounds outlandish, but just the way he was snatching 170, I just can't believe that that's... He can't be opening with that. It looked too light, it looked way too easy. Unless he's just playing the safe game, I don't know, but I'm sure he's gonna hit a world record in the snatch, which is kind of cool. Uh, clean and jerks, I just saw him do 190 for a couple of singles, looked extremely easy. So, um, my prediction actually is that Jason Lopez beats China. I genuinely think that could happen. Uh, Kedema Vianir, looking strong, we saw him snatch uh, 160, clean jerk 200, that's pretty standard for him. Hey. 
because he's done something that um, is just unreal. Also, that intro that you just saw, um, that's a little teaser from an upcoming documentary. We're working on a few documentaries, which will be exclusively available at Weightlifting House TV, so you don't want to miss those. Uh, that's a little snippet of it. So Carlos turned up, and uh, he told me in the morning that he was going to go heavy. And he said to me, he was like, 178, 180, 215, 220, like in that range. I was like, okay, well, even if he just does the lower range of that, 178, 215, that's the most crazy training session we've ever seen from him. Uh, and I thought, to be honest, he won't even do that. He'll probably do like 170, 173, 210, tops. So he comes in and he snatches, builds up, he hits a 170 in the snatch, he jumps straight to 180. Um, he has straps on, bear in mind. So he goes up to it, he snatches it, and he misses it. And he's like, hmm. I know exactly what that was. That was not strength. I know exactly what to do. Within a minute, he straps back up and he just nails it. And it's just the most ridiculous thing um, we've like seen in the snatch in a training hall. Maybe other than Lash, snatch 215 back in 2021. This this might have to. This takes a biscuit. Well, may, actually, maybe this is more impressive. This is equals a world record in the training hall. We've never seen that before. Never seen that. Have we ever seen anybody equal a world record in a training hall? Actually. Toma beat the world record. Right? Toma beat the world yeah. record in the snatch. Columbia. 123 in Colombia. 121? That was the most ridiculous thing. Um, and then in the clean and jerk, he just decides, okay, so he's working up, and he's taking small jumps. 170, I don't know if he did 70, but he did 180, he did 190, he did 200. We thought, okay, this is very careful, calm, Nassar. We've not, we're not used to this. Um, but his back foot is slipping just a little bit. He's not happy with it. So he says, he YOLOs it, he jumps 20 kilos for some reason, just skips 210 altogether, goes straight to 220, cleans it, and just out of the blue goes for a power jerk. <laughs> this is three kilos under his own world record. Misses the jerk, and then he sits back down, rests a couple minutes, comes straight back out, clean, power jerk, 220 kilos. He plays Tian Tao at his own game and beats him. 400 kilo total, the mythical total, 4 kilos over the world record total held by Lee Dai-In, 5 kilos over his best total. He said to me that he <laughs> I don't even know, this is silly. He said to me he's going to do somewhere like 225, 230 on competition day. Uh, <laughs> which is just like, I don't know, is he going to do it? We'll see. Um, so, I mean, whatever he does, even if he does... 75 25 that's 400 maybe does 180 230 that's 410 that's that's your like absolute top of the line best bet uh but whatever he does he's going to beat everyone he's going to set world records there's no doubt uh so we're very excited to see carlos compete and uh the 89s are on saturday so don't miss it commentary from me and max uh it's the final olympic qualifier and don't forget we're also trying to work out who's going to make the olympics you know those guys are pretty much safe except for Tian and, and uh, Li Dai-In, they've got to be, it's got to be decided who, who goes there. Um, my new theory actually is that I don't think she can win and I don't think either of the Chinese 89s can win. So now it's actually about who's more likely to medal in Paris. So who's more likely to get a bronze or a silver? So it's gonna kind of come down to what's Wirafon looking like in the 73s, what's Bozidar looking like in the 73s, and then how many 89s are totaling 390 plus, because that's kind of gonna determine whether uh, the Chinese 89s can do it. And then we've also got, you know, we're trying to see can Bodhi Santavi crack into that top 10? Uh, can, we haven't seen Robu. Damron. Yeah, can Robu, Robu hold on? Can Nathan today. Damron get in? Anyone else? I mean, there are other people, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun one. So you, d you don't wanna miss it. It's $9.99 at Weightlift House TV. 
uh, and you get the entire championships plus we're putting up two new training videos every week even while we're here that are unseen anywhere else we've been doing that for months so there's a huge catalog we've got all these documentaries coming out it's absolutely insane you do not want to miss weight of chaos tv you can download it on your tv on like a, on a smart app you can get it on your phone uh laptop we've got the chat going uh it's unreal so you don't want to miss out make sure you're there we'll see you at the 89s